Hi everyone, my name is Glenda Young and I'm an author. My novels are all set at the end of World War I and they're all set in the North East and I'm very proud and privileged to be here today um, at the invitation of uh, Concert, His the History of Concert Steelworks. I'm going to try and do this little video in all one take so excuse me if I stumble over my words a little bit um, but I'm very proud to be doing this especially for International Women's Day. Great. So a little bit about me. I'm going to just give a very general introduction to my books, just it's a very short introduction and then if you'd like to know more about each book there are um, more videos coming after this as well but again they're very short, short and sweet. So in a nutshell um, I've been, I've loved writing all of my life and now I'm published by Headline and these are my first four novels, there's another three coming um, and they're all set at the end of World War I, which was a huge time, a time of huge change for society and, and in particular for women. The soldiers were coming back from the war, some of them mentally and physically wounded. And, you know, women were being forced out of their jobs the first time they'd been working outside of the home and they were being forced back into the home. So my, my books are all set in a northeast pig village called Ryuk, which is where I'm from. I grew up there and it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to do some research into the village that I thought I knew and I found out so much more about it. Um, so my books are all based around the, sort of fe the community of females in the working class villages, the, the female friendships um, and especially the work that the women used to do as well. My first book, Bell of the Backstreets, is about a young girl who takes on her dad's rag and bone round and she goes door to door selling and, and buying second hand clothes. So there's lots of dangers involved in that as well because some of the, the, the male rag and bone men weren't too keen that women were doing that sort of work. The Tuppany Child is about uh, very, very much centred on the, the world of the domestic maid. Um, I don't want to say too much and give the plot away, but uh, I think this, the, She's called Sadie, the heroine of the Tuppany Child, and I think she might be my favourite heroine of them all because she's the first woman in the village to wear trousers. Yay! To ride a bike. Whoa! And she even sets up her own small business as well. Pearl of Pit Lane is about women who work as prostitutes in the, in the back lanes of the pit villages. So it's, it's their only means of earning money. Um, and The Girl with the Scarlet Ribbon is again very much set in, in the domestic era of... Um, that there's a home for destitute girls involved. Um, my new book, which isn't on my banner, but which comes out in March, March the 18th it's out, it's called The Paper Mill Girl. And as the name suggests, it's set in a paper mill. Um, it's set in a paper mill in Sunderland, which at the time, 1919, was the biggest paper mill in the whole of the north of England. Um, lots of dangers at the mill. Uh, there was a bleaching room, there's lots of knives involved. Um, because the girls in the what they called the cutting room or the rag room had to remove buttons and collars and zip, um, not zips, collars and cuffs from uh, shirts when they were brought in, the second hand clothes. So we've got a tie in back to Belle of the Back Street with her second hand clothes on the rag and bone. She actually makes an appearance in this book. Um, the books are all standalone, you can read them in any order. But the paper mill girl, I did lots of research about uh, the role of women in paper mills, absolutely fascinating. And in the paperback when it comes out on March the 18th, there's a list of resources that I used for research at the back of the book with lots of reading material if anyone wants to uh, delve into that a little bit more. So that's me in a nutshell. As I said, there's um, five more videos coming very, very soon after this one. Um, they're very short, so do do give them a listen, do have a look at them, and there's, I just tell you a little bit about each book, and I hope you really enjoy them if you give them a try. If you'd like to find out more about me, my website is glendayoungbooks.com, and I'm on Facebook at Glenda Young Author. Uh, my books are available in all good bookshops and online. Um, the Paper Mill Girl will be going into Asda, Tesco, and Morrison's as well as Waterstones and Amazon and all the usual places you can get a book or if anyone would like signed copies do get in touch with me through the website because I'd be more than happy to sign and dedicate books and send them out and I'll pop a couple of um, bookmarks in for you as well. Thank you very much indeed and I hope you really enjoy the books. Thanks again to the History of Concert Steelworks for uh, inviting me to do this video and I hope I haven't stumbled over my words too much <laughs> all in one take a live TV. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.